and it began with water-powered machines. For centuries, people had used the turning force of water wheels to help with tough jobs, like driving blades for sawing wood, and rotating coarse stones for grinding grain into flour. But eventually, water wheels began to power more complicated devices that would revolutionize cloth making, like this carding machine. What an improvement over the pet brushes. And by rolling out wispy slivers all day long, it was a great labor-saving device. But this was even better. I'm standing next to a machine called a water frame. It was created by the famous English inventor Richard Arkwright, this model's from the 1780s, to spin cotton into yarn. Though it looks fairly complex, it really isn't. It runs on water power, just like the carding machine and saw blades we saw earlier. The cotton in the top spools is drawn out by the action of the machine, which twists it nice and tight, and then gathers the yarn onto these bottom spools. It works just like a hand spinning wheel. Ninety-six of them, actually. So it's little wonder that spinning by machine would eventually make spinning by hand obsolete. In no time, spinning mills began springing up all over England.